all the persons here present, and I'd like to make special mention of the president of United Way of Jamaica, Mr. Ian Thorpes, Ms. Wilkins, the Chief Executive Officer of United Way, um, welcome, and Ms. Sharon Edwards of United Way. Interestingly, the connection between myself and Mr. Forbes go way, way back to the 1980s. He was one of my mentors at Jamaica College, and in fact, when he was coach of the Sunlight team, he made sure that I opened the fast bowling attack. Uh, um, um, and the semifinals and the finals was at um, Sabina Park. And uh, myself and Jimmy Adams and young Richards, uh, we remember him. And the, the other, oh, my two vice presidents, uh, Mr. Berry and Mr. Johnson, the chief executive officers of the Jamaica Agriculture Society and the Jamaica Forage Club, JS, Mr. Um, Christopher Emmanuel, um, everybody should know him, <laughs> and Mr. Lenworth Fulton, Jamaica Forage Clubs, um, the other members of staff, members of the board um, of the JAS, um, members of the media, good morning. Um, okay, this is supposed to be a very brief handing over ceremony. Um, Lenworth has Carol, the public relations officer from the 4-H and Camille and we have from the JS and, and others. So today, you know, one of the ways to build Jamaica is going to be a united way. We're going to have to build Jamaica in, in, in a united way. And this and, and over is very strategic. Um, we're very pleased today with the significant efforts and the assistance of our partner United Way of Jamaica in the post Hurricane Sandy restoration process. The United Way of Jamaica are indeed a long-standing partner and no stranger to the Jamaica Agriculture Society and the Jamaica Forage Club. United Way has assisted farmers and our young people in the recovery efforts in the aftermath of Hurricane Ivor, along with the bee farmers and the fisher folks their contribution over the years uh, is in excess of $20 million to the Jamaica Agriculture Society and $7 million to the Jamaica 4-H clubs. Can we give them a hand? <laughs> their efforts started a long time ago. The Jamaica Agriculture Society in October got assistance to the tune of $12, $13 million after Hurricane Ivan, October 2004. Um, that's $13 million. Um, assistance for agricultural production again in October of 2004, $1.7 million. After Hurricane Ivan, there was another support um, for agricultural production for $4.2 million. Um, to the Fisher folks in November of 2004 for effects caused by Hurricane Ivan, $5.4 million. Um, additional support uh, for the Fisher folks to the tune of $4.5 million, all through the Jamaica Agriculture Society. And in 2008, uh, there was an allocation to, for ACCI training, summing up to $460,000. And uh, in June 2011, we got a, a regular allocation for pig farming for $300,000. All of that totals support over the last, um, between 2004 and excluding this contribution, which I'll speak to shortly, of some $28.9 million um, uh, with, with, with some $760,000 for regular allocation. So to the Jamaica Agriculture Society and the farmers on the whole, we have gotten some $30 million and for the Jamaica 4-H Club, $7 million. And I think we really need to applaud 
the United Way of Jamaica. Because it is in this United Way we're going to really help to build a better Jamaica and make sure that Jamaica becomes the place of choice to live, do business, raise family, and certainly do farming. The natural disaster, Hurricane Sandy, had severely impact on the agriculture sector with losses estimated at $1.5 billion and affecting close to 36,000 farmers. The full impact of this devastation in October 2012 goes beyond the destruction of crops, livestock, loss of property. In fact, we are still being significantly impacted through the scarcity uh, of food and the increasing prices of agricultural produce. As the recovery process is vital to the growth and sustainable development of the agricultural sector, we again commend the United Way of Jamaica for rising to the cause and providing the farmers and the Jamaica Agricultural Society with some $1.5 million in the form of input material uh, to certainly assist farmers who have been affected as a result of Hurricane Sandy. And of course, the Jamaica Forage Club with $1 million. The total of 500 farmers within the worst affected areas of St. Mary, Portland, and St. Andrew, St. Thomas, St. Catherine, Kingston, and St. Andrew will receive input material to include seeds, small tools, and equipment, such as chainsaws and NAMSAC sprayers. NAMSAC. Namsa, no. nap sack, nap sack. Uh, so, Mr. Berry, your chainsaw is now secured. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, Winsor, we have been having a quotation for chainsaw to, to provide to the farmers of Portland for a very long time. So we were just holding it until we got your support. So the farmers of Portland will be ecstatic for this um, contribution. The, the, the affected farmers have already been identified and selected. Therefore, the disbursement process will commence in short order. The implementation process will be organized through the Jamaica Agriculture Society parish managers and the ABS across the island. And a comprehensive report is to be provided on the entire process and the results and the outcome as a result of this intervention. And what we are committing um, Mr. President, is that we will provide you with periodic reports. We'll take pictures of the farms and we will show you how and the pace and the type of transformation that your intervention um, to the agriculture sector um, is progressing. This assistance will ensure that short, in the short, medium term, livelihood of our farmers are secured as many of these persons that totally depend on the agriculture sector for survival. We, we, we think that agriculture is so fundamental to our development and notwithstanding the challenges that we have now as a nation where we are called upon to do the right thing, one of these sectors that is going to take us through this challenging but exciting times is the agriculture sector. And therefore, we are going to be doing it in a united way. As it relates to the Jamaica Forage Clubs, the United Way of Jamaica has allocated a total of $1 million for the repairs to the residential building at Salisbury Plain in St. Andrew. Specifically, this allocation will go towards the roofing of this property. As chairman of the Jamaica 4-H clubs, and I commend my executive director, this initiative is welcome. And we are indeed grateful for this support. This will contribute to our efforts to grow our membership, which presently stands at about 60,000 to 100,000 over the next four to five years. We think that as a part of our transformation of Jamaica's agriculture is to bring down the age, average age of our farmers from 60 to somewhere into my age group. The 40s. 
so that we have more young people coming into the sector. And the 4-H is looking at creating this agricultural incubator whereby we will take a young person or a batch of young persons into our camps like Salisbury Plain during the summer and we will train them in many areas that will add value and we will learn them, we will teach them to make money. So what the United Way of Jamaica is actually doing is helping to empower organizations such as the 4-H and the JAS to build capacity so that our young people and our farmers can contribute to the advanced development of Jamaica in a significant way. These combined efforts clearly demonstrate that the United Way of Jamaica is serious about the agriculture sector and our youth and continues to play a noble part in advancing this mission forward. Today is another momentous occasion for the partnership between, well, the partnership with the Jamaica 4-H Club, the Jamaica Agriculture Society, and the United Way of Jamaica. I want to commend those of our managers that were critical to provide that interface between these organizations and the United Way. Our CEO from the JS, Ms. Beckford, our public relations officer from the JS, Mr. Lenworth Fulton, um, CEO from the 4-H, and your project manager in the 4-H, and, and Karen, and, and all the other persons. And, and, and Mr. President, I want us to build on the JC legacy. <laughs> Give me a hand for that, no man. <laughs> you, you, you can't have Lenworth, somebody that heads the JS and the 4-H, yeah. and somebody that heads the United Way. Yeah. You need to make sure, Chris, that in a united way, we get together to make sure that we forge this tremendous transformation forward. So we are on a mission. We are on a mission to make Jamaica to be the place of choice to live, do business, raise family, and certainly plow the fields and scatter the good seeds over the land so we can eat what we grow and we can grow what we eat. Thank you very much, United Way of Jamaica. On behalf of the farmers of Jamaica, the Jamaica Agriculture Society, and the Jamaica forage movements. May God bless you all. At this time, Mrs. Winsome Wilkins, the Chief Executive Officer of the United Way of Jamaica, will make special remarks. Good morning. Um, let me again apologize for being late. I misjudged my route this morning coming from Old Harbor. Um, let me thank you so much for having us here this morning to share in this special presentation ceremony, the United Way of Jamaica. Um, we are stewards of donors' funds, is what I want to say. Our mission is to increase the ca capacity of people to care for one another. Each year, through our fundraising efforts, we um, approach donors both locally and overseas, corporate and individuals, and encourage them to give to support the work that you do. And um, we have been doing this for the last going, soon 28 years. And uh, we continue to get good support from our people. Now, when we get that good support, we have a responsibility to make sure that those funds are properly accounted for. The partnerships that we have had with the Jamaica 4-H um, clubs and the Jamaica Agricultural Society over the many years have been very fruitful, and we are proud of the association from United Way of Jamaica. Our, our focus at the organization is health, education, and income generation. When Hurricane Sandy passed through and devastated the eastern um, part of the island, we recognize that the income or generation capacity of our farmers were compromised. 
and therefore as an organization, even though we did not have a national appeal fund as we usually do in the past, we decided that from the disaster relief fund that we have established, we would make a donation. And then we're looking for partners. It's farmers, it's agriculture. Certainly, they have, there's a good track record between uh, us and the 4-H clubs and JAS, and so it was no um, hard decision to make. We were going to be supporting in this way. The 4-H clubs and JAS, um, you are our partners on the ground. You're the one who are hands-on with the farmers. And um, the expectation is that as you expend donors' money, you report accordingly. Because, in fact, it is your successes that we go and share with the donors, Sen Senator. And, and boast of, uh, um, just on the 11th of last month, uh, members of our board went out to a project out in, um, out in rural St. Catherine, and they were very impressed. Every one of them have a good story to share, yes? And it's because of the work that you're doing. So we're happy that we're able to give to you. And I'm sure the farmers are going to be very happy too um, for this grant that they're receiving from the United Way of Jamaica. I want to thank you so very much. And Mr. Forbes is the person who is going to be doing the actual presentation. Thank you. Well, it's now time. <laughs> It's now time to, and I'd like to, for a little while. Um, Tell us how you want. And then we do a shake in other hands. Pleasure, Mr. Fox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I said, Pleasure, sir. <laughs> you know what I. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jamaica, first vice president of the Jamaica Agricultural Society. Before I, I call on him, I remember when we office, he called me. Went, I don't think we should try and do many little things. What we that is going to help to transform in the instructions from Mr. Council, from Mr. Berry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I am elated this morning, Jamaica, with the ooh, ooh, eastern part of St. Mary, just immediately after hurricane, you see you for getting up and also all of the other members yes, we want to thank you thank you thank you in well doing thanks much thank you mr <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what it <laughs> that you're good time for so with us <laughs> i want to say all the best i know lenworth has <laughs> um thank you very much all the best and we we'll continue to work together.